Hi, Natalie and uh, Tanil. How you do? Hi, sir. Good, good, good. Trust me. You say, say it again, Tanil. What was the last piece, Tanil? You're what? Tired. Oh, Tanil, don't even. I mean, I don't want. I don't want anybody to say that word to me again. As it is just now, I have a headache, and I know why. Because after class last night, I was up um, doing some more work on the SB. Never went to bed until after 12, and I am actually on the road now. I'm trying to do an early morning errand. Um, I sent a paper for you. Um, I know we have not done any maths, maths for the last one, two, three classes. Well, two of our classes, Friday and last night, and Tuesday too, and Monday too. Yeah, three classes. Um, I sent something, things that you have already done. The business calculus students will be doing their exam, actual exam today. So just go ahead and just do that for me, please. And then, um, and then, you know, we'll go to the solution. We'll go to the solution. All right. So just start working on it for me, please. And um, we will, you know, just for you to get your practice to make sure that things are okay with you. All right. So go on work. Just Sorry, go on work. The, the mock mid semester that is sent in the group. Should yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, man. Go ahead. And I want. I want you to start it just to get some practice. Um, you know, I don't. I know we've done those donkey years ago, but I just want to make sure that you're up to date with what is happening. And let's see if any of the physical come in yet. Yes, Laura, 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 Duane, Damian, Messe, congratulations are in order. Oh my goodness. I am so proud of you. My Cape students are also here and, you know, on a just, on a just bomb rush the people, them award ceremony. So my gosh, I have no behavior, none whatsoever. I'm so proud of you. Congratulations, congratulations. Con I feel like a proud daddy. Jeez, I'm pleased. So I'm expecting that um, you continue to work and work hard. Those of you who miss the certificate award by just one little unsi tunsi something, or miss the principal's award by one little unsi tunsi something, or miss the chairman's award by one little unsi something. Congratulations, just work harder so it is that you can maintain it. Keep up the good work, fabulous job. Um, I'm really very proud of you. I sat down and I watched it in its entirety. I mean, outside of the, the problems with the streaming, but. I watched it and I watched it and I'm very proud. So congratulations. So we get nobody nice to thank you. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. All right. So um we are going to yeah, you're welcome, Laura. The, I know it's a challenge for the, my, my, I've been realizing that it's a challenge for the business care students to come out at eight o'clock. I'm on the road from early o'clock. I thought I would have been home by then, but it's just so things work out. Um, I literally, I literally got, I'm surviving on less than five hours sleep. Um, I was in class with my, my Cape students, you're welcome to in my Cape students up until late last night. And I forgot big lump, you know, Natalie and Tanil. For being here so early. Um, so I'm literally on five hours sleep uh, with a headache early, early Saturday morning. But you know, to whom much is given of him or her, much is expected. And Father God didn't give me enough rest. They multiply the rest tonight by tenfold. So if I take two hours sleep, I feel like I'm going to take 20 hours sleep. So I know it's rough for you. Um, let me just confess something straight up off the bat. And my Cape students are here to, to um to attest to it. Um, we have been engaging in some SBAs because we were way behind last night. We, we spoke and we prayed in class because we um, recognized that last week, Friday, we were nowhere near nothing to our SBA to the point where we were, we are close to completing the SBA. So this week was a rough, 
rough, rough week. Rough week in terms of doing the SBA because I had to be doing the SBA so I can send off to them so that they can get an idea as to how to get the stuff done up, coupled with meetings and meetings and meetings and meetings. So the confession is, is that I did not get a chance to mark, mark. I will still mark and give it to you. Didn't get a chance to mark, mark your mock mid semester um, because of the, the other deadlines. The truth is their exams were scheduled for, which day again, um, Cape students? Repeat, sir. Which day was the exam scheduled for? Monday. Monday coming, right? Yes, yeah, Monday. Right. So their exams were scheduled for the exam was, was, was scheduled for Monday coming. So I had to just put all the energies into them. But thankfully, CXC um, pushed back to about three weeks are here. So please understand, I'm not normally this tardy, but um, a lot of things just had to put on the back burner because I had to get them out of the way. But thankfully, we are still here. So the plan is to go through the, 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 the mock exam with you. Um, I know at some point in time, I'd have to drive home, but I want to get through as much of the mock exam as possible. If even at the, at the time when I'm driving home, I give you an opportunity to just go on to some final final preparations until I get home, then we start the, 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 the mock exam. I have to do the mock exam today. And even at the expense of not teaching today, but I have to do the mock exam. Um, and you know, just get the stuff done up. And 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 Cape students, I too am going to be encouraging you to to do the the, the, the mark exam. Um, you know, it's it's let me not even call it an exam for you, but it's just practice. Um, I know we have done some really good things and rush a lot of things, but yeah. So let me see if I can share my screen. Are, are there any questions in the meantime? I'm actually using my phone. Um, my computer is. Uh, you know the story about that already. Um, I'm going to be sharing my screen. Oh Lord, but I should be, I should download it first, right? All right, so market, um, so I know the Cape students only got the paper today. I shared the paper only a while ago with them um, to do. But this girl, how was the paper? Serve a Cape? No, for this girl. No, you guys are not doing it. So you want, the Cape students go and work. So the paper was okay. I just had one just, issue. You just had one issue. All right, never mind. What about the others? Here's screen. See me, sir. Was nice. all right. Nice, 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 nice. All right. It's always very good for you to be to be honest with your evaluation of the matter, so that I'm in a position to help you. Um, does it make sense, Joseph? Sorry, it was all right. I you know it, all right. And then, sir, can I help you? And then share screen. Start now. All right. So all the fandangles that I used to do in terms of I did it. Right. All the fandangles that I normally do in terms of writing and so forth. I may not be able to do it now because of can you see the screen? Yes, sir. All right, so let me go through um, until I'm ready to move. So it says to evaluate the following limits. And remember, the first question here is a polynomial. So how do you know it's a polynomial? Because it is written as a non-product and it is written as not a fraction and it is written as a polynomial in the form. Um, it don't have to be AX squared plus BX plus C, but you should be able to identify a polynomial, right? Um, we did polynomial um, functions already from pre-calculus and keep students also did polynomial function. Um, also did polynomial function. So I know you know how to identify a polynomial function. You notice it's only two marks. Let's see if it's how much more. One mark, one mark. Because the limit of a polynomial, you just put in a number in the polynomial and you're good to go. So it says the limit as X tends to three. So wherever in the polynomial you see X, you're gonna put in three. That's how easy it is. So the limit of a polynomial is very easy. They'd never normally give more than two marks in the exam for it. Trust me. And it don't matter how long the polynomial is because all you're doing is just substituting. It's a lower end question. All you're doing is just substituting. So wherever in that we see 
um, three, I mean X, we're going to put in three. So what it's going to be, see here? So it's going to be three times, two times, what the heck? No, hold on. What? It's going to be two times three cubes. It's going to be two times, okay, so it's a second, it's a second line. Two times three cubes plus four times three minus two plus four times three minus two. And two cubes is eight, and eight times two is 16, and four times three is 12. 16 plus 12 is 26, 27, 28, 28 minus two is 26. So that's how we got 26 per hour. Oh, it says three cubes. You know, but, but, but what did Sir do a while ago? Anybody was listening? Sir, I was doing the work. Oh, sir so said two times two cubes is equal to eight, but the, the question never said two, it says three. It says not two cubes. What I said was two cubes is eight and eight times three is 16. That's not true. It is three. So three, three is nine, three is 27. 27 times two, 27 times two is how much? 54? Yes, sir. So it would, it yes, be, sir. Right. So it would be. 54 plus 43 is 12. That's 54, 64, 66. And 66 minus 2 is going to be 64. So the answer to number to part A should be 64. Yep. Any questions with that? No, sir. No, sir. Nice. Very nice. I hear Shanti with her little low voice. No, sir. All right. Um, Duane. You look like you know we're copying. You know, you look like you're still in a bed, and uh, 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 and just be it on the, the, the no, computer. Oh, sorry, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Me know, me know, me know the way, me know. All right, come. We, we, we have a jump up. Come, let's go. Um, so, Miss Carl, anybody has a problem with the number one? No, sir. Sir. All right, all right, all right. Okay, nice. Um, I know the Cape students know this because them. Do this long time. So this is a review for them. You they did it longer than you, so to speak. They did this from last term. All right. So let's go. If you have any difficulties, guys, just talk about it. Um, the keep students are here. Even if I'm driving, um, they can explain to you what is happening. And this is whether or not if you're doing Cape or Biscal, um, it neither here nor there, we are still one set of classmates. And again, um, so many of you from both groups were awarded for academic excellence for last school year. Big up on a good self. All right, let's go. This one here now says the limit as x tends to seven of x squared minus 49 over x minus seven. Biscal, tell me what you think is the best thing. As I mean, and I think we're calling on the Cape students, you know, because I know them know this. So Biscal, tell me, um, tell me what is the first step right here. Let me see if you're following what I did with you. So would it be to um, substitute the, the seven raised to the X? Mm -hmm. Substituting seven, okay, fine. And what do you get when you do that? You have a paper in front of you, you know. Can you remember you, 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 you took pictures and upload to me, you know, so you still have those questions in front of you. So look at it and tell me what it is. Oh, You've already done the paper. So you put wherever you see X you put seven, very good. And what happens next? Oh no. My, my screen stop sharing. Yes, sir. All right, All right. So wherever you see X you put seven. Good. And what 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 would you have gotten as a result of substituting seven to the function? And when you work it out, so you get an uh, indeterminate value from zero over zero. Oh, excellent! Very nice. Love it. And then when you get the indeterminate value, what it says to you? You have to factorize next, sir. Very good. There's something in the function. 
that is preventing the true limit from coming out and we need to do something. So we need to factorize. Where do you factorize? Numerator or denominator? The numerator. numerator. Factorize the, very good, excellent. And when you factorize the numerator, what do you get? X minus seven, X plus seven. Oh, fabulous answer. And what happens next? So you put it all over X minus seven and then you cancel. The X minus seven, very good. And then now you're left with only X plus seven, don't it? Yes, sir. And when you have X plus seven and you substitute in seven, what do you get for your answer? Seven plus seven equals 14. Very nice. Easy one, two, three. No, how you can feel it, how you can feel the force. Easy one, two, three. Very nice. Let me ask you a question though. As it is that we are um, doing a revision with both groups um, in preparation for exams to come. Um, the pair of you guys will begin exams around about the same time. Your exams are oh, incidentally, the timetable that I submitted to you, that I sent off to you, Ms. Cal. It says that the exam will start on the 23rd. We never normally from CCCJ give exam on a public holiday. The external body does because our public holiday in Jamaica is not necessarily a public holiday in another Caribbean country. So when we have Labor Day on the 23rd of May, the other Caribbean countries don't have um, Labor Day on our, our public holiday on the 23rd. I, I vividly remember Labor Day, I labored over my, one Labor Day, I labored over my um, chemistry exam. When I say labor, it was a Labor Day exam, right? Um, so the other territories don't have exams. I mean, a public holiday on that day, so they can do exams on a particular. But normally we don't set exams on a public holiday, so I can guarantee you that your exams won't begin business calculus on the twenty third, but the twenty fourth. So the next draft of the timetable um, will be shifted. All right. So let me ask you: x squared minus forty nine is known as what? Perfect square. No, say it again. The other one, the opposite of perfect square is? Difference of two squares. The difference of two squares. Very good. It's the difference of two squares. The difference of two squares will only have two terms. The first term is a perfect squared. The last term is a perfect squared. And it is always separated by a negative sign. All right. The perfect square has three terms. All right. Okay. Next one. The limit as x tends to three. Are you, are you following though? Yes, sir. We're not sharing. You're not hearing me? Not sharing, sharing. I'm sharing. I'm not, I'm not sharing. No, sir. No, sir. Oh, come on, Jesus. Um, um, hold on, forgive me. Oh no. I'm here looking at the document, the question, and figuring that it's being shared. Thank you. Are you seeing it now? Yes. yes sir. All right. Yeah. Good. So, um, this paper, this paper that I gave you, is a past mock exam from CCCJ. You know, say so you know, you know, types are wonderful. So you know, say so I know your teacher type it, eh? Because with them cross out right here, so you know, know with them cross out. But guess what? See so the fourteen each up somewhere under there, so. So yes, your answer is correct right there. Very nice. All right, number part, part, part C, it says a limit as x tends to three of two x squared minus x minus 15 over x minus three. What's the first step? Talk to me quickly. Sorry, you, you, you insert um, the three into the function, sir. All right, you're going to substitute the three into the function, and what should and what should you get? Zero over zero, which is the indeterminate value, sir. Excellent. So therefore, when you get indeterminate, what do you do? You factorize. Okay, I mean you factorize to x squared minus x minus fifteen. What do you get? Uh, two, two x plus five and x minus three. 
to x plus 5 and x minus 3. Do you agree with her, guys? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very nice. And then the x minus 3 will cancel out, don't it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very nice. So you're going to be left with 2x minus 3. And uh, 2x plus 5, I'm sorry. And then, as you see in part C there, you're going to be left with 2x plus 5 because the x minus 3 cancels. So you have 2x plus 5. And when x is equal to 3, 2 times 3 is 6. And 6 plus 5 is equal to 11. So your answer should be 11. Do you agree? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very nice. Very nice. Excellent. On the limits, careful, you know. Trust me. All right. D. Mm -mm. When you see infinity, what do you think of? Or do you work the infinity question, the limits one? What do we do? Talk to me. Sir, so you're looking at the, the numerator and the denominator. For? And for the, the highest x value. The highest power? Highest power, sir. Mm-hmm. And? And you put all the, the, the values over, over that. Okay, fabulous. And which is the highest power? Which term has the highest power? X to the fifth power. Very good. So you're dividing each term by x to the fifth. Can everybody hear that and agree with that and understand that? Yes. yes. Very nice, very nice, very nice, very nice. So I'm going to have x to the fifth. OK, but the first thing you're going to have with that is indeterminate, right? Because you can put 0 over 0 is indeterminate. So it is indeterminate um, when you put your, your infinity into your infinitely large value into that function. For the numerator, you're going to get infinity. And um, sorry, I did say zero over zero. It's not zero years, infinity over infinity. So you have different forms of indeterminate. You can have zero over zero. You can have positive infinity over positive infinity. You can have negative infinity over negative infinity. So this one is going to be positive infinity over positive infinity, um, which is indeterminate. So now that you, now that you state that it's indeterminate, so we have to state it here, man. So now that you state that it's indeterminate, what we're going to do now is to divide through each term by x to the fifth. So you're going to have x to the fifth over 5 minus 3x to the fourth over x to the 5 plus x cubed over x to the 5 plus 2x squared over x to the fifth plus 3 over x to the fifth all over x to the fourth over x to the fifth plus 2x to the third over x to the fifth plus 3x squared over x to the fifth minus 1 over x to the fifth. And when you have all of that, you are then going to now simplify. And in simplifying, you are going to be reducing all the terms. It's very important because you must get to a point where you have just a constant in the numerator and the variable in the denominator. Let me see how they did it. All right, so good. Um, it don't type so well, but never mind. So they're dividing everything by x to the, why them say x to the fourth? Oh no. This one is wrong. The solution for this one is wrong. Yes, sir. it's supposed to be x to the fifth. It's supposed to be x to the fifth. The solution here is wrong, guys. So I won't look at that. It's wrong. It's supposed to be x to the fifth. It's supposed to be x to the fifth. So it's wrong. So it's going to be x to the fifth. Um, over all of that. So let me see if I can do it in my head space now. So you should have one minus three over X plus one over X squared plus two over X cubed plus three over X to the fifth all over one over X plus two over X squared plus three over X cubed minus one over X to the fifth. Agreed? Yes, sir. Nice. Mm hmm This one is very tricky now. So as x tends to infinity, is all of them fractional form? Every one of them will go to zero. With the exception of which one? One. 
the one. Very good. The x to the fifth over x to the fifth is one. So that limit tends to what number? What is the answer for D? One over zero, one sir. One over zero, sir. Which is? Undefined. 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 Very good. Which is undefined. Excellent. So because they use the wrong thing, they got infinity for the answer. But the answer is not infinity. That limit is undefined. That limit will be undefined. Everybody got undefined or is there somebody that didn't get it to be undefined? Did you just put one over zero or did you say one over zero and then say undefined? Uh, I put one over zero then undefined. Very good. So don't just put one over zero alone and just leave it as it is. No, sir. When you cook oxtail and, and, and gung rice and peas and give me, you cannot put no gravy upon the something. You're crazy. I mean, I eat gravy all the time in the body. No, man. So when you give me curry and hot steel, no, man. You want my gravy? Me defend my gravy. Yeah, man. So that's the final thing on it here. Yeah? So to say that to, to them that it's undefined. All right. So that concludes the limits question. Talk to me, guys. Is there anyone in the class? Do, Damien, you are very silent. The other stalls, you are very silent. Um, Chris, I can't even check my participants list because of this. Sorry, sorry. Yes, I'm, defend I'm defending this I'm not silent, sir. We've been you defending, talking, sir. You defending who? The stalls. <laughs> Why? Why are you defending the stalls? Talk to me. Can you say the other stall is silent and silent, sir? No, but the other one not talking to me. No, yeah, man, she's talking to you, sir. Oh, she's she talking talk to you some morning. Yes, <laughs> All right, you see? I, I, so you know, family, you know, right? Them, them, them just attack you. But oh, very nice. I'm, 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 I'm proud of you. Very nice. Very nice. All right, guys. Um, no, why I'm doing what I'm doing, you know, and I know, oh, Lord. Hold on. I know the thing just went. Let me see if I can go back. Um, it's the thing about sharing from these tablets and phones. It very sensitive. All right. I'm very happy about that. All right. Let us see if we can even finish off these before I have to move so we can um, just do some other stuff. All right. So it says determine the point of discontinuity for the following for the following, for the following. Points of discontinuity for the following. All right. For the points of discontinuity, it says f of x is equal to 2x plus 5 over 3x plus 2 times x minus 3. Oh, we do that. Talk to me, the man. Anybody, somebody, anybody, somebody. Oh, we do that. Damien. You're a good candidate. Come out of the bed, man. Jesus. I'm from 10 o'clock last night to sleep. Come on. Doing? Very good. Uh, I, I, the denominator is already factorized, so you. Mm -hmm. Establish the points by saying 3x plus 2 equals 0, and also x minus 3 equals 0, and you get mm -hmm. the values of each uh, x equals uh, minus 2 over 3 for one point, and the next point is 3. Very good. All right. So um, for the points of discontinuity, you're going to set the denominator to be equal to 0. And then you do exactly what it is that um, Dwayne just said. Very nice. Easy three marks. Easy three marks. I want to get three marks for that. Go ahead. What is the answer for that, sir? Um, negative two thirds and positive three. Remember, okay. the points of this continue, just like the last question that we did in 1D, you cannot have a zero existing in the denominator. It cannot have a zero existing in the denominator. So what we're going to be doing is putting the denominator equals to zero. We're setting the denominator equals to zero because we can't have a zero existing in the denominator. Real talk. So when we do that, we are going to end up with, we're going to end up with, um, with 
3x plus 2 times x minus 3 to be equal to 0. Do we set it right? So it is already factorized. That's why I wouldn't give three marks. I'm not giving two marks to the question. It is already factorized. So all you have to do is, is one of the two or both is equal to 0. In order for that to happen, one of the two or both will be equal to 0. Sorry, look at I was looking at the wrong one. Sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. Right. So um so what you're gonna have is um three x plus two is equal to zero, therefore x is equal to negative two thirds, and you're also gonna have x minus three equals zero, and x is gonna be equals to positive three. All right, any questions? Remember if you're not fully there, let me know. So I can explain, please. I would have given you feedback for those who joined late. I would have given you feedback, but I again invited my CAPE students to be with you. Their exam should have been Monday coming, but thankfully six, he extends the, the, the by three weeks. It was a rough week for me to try to finish up their SBAs. So the truth of the matter is everything this week was just SBA for me and meetings. SBA, SBA, SBA and meetings. So I didn't get the chance to mark your mark. Um, so that's why I'm going through the solutions with you so that should in case you have a difficulty, at least you'll see those difficulties before we actually do the exam. All right, so I really want you guys to, to be honest, to be frank, to be open, to say, sir, and not seen it. All right, so let's go. Given that G of X, and this is a piecewise function, G of X is equal to four X plus six, where X is less than or equal to negative two, and x squared minus seven, where x is greater than negative two. We need to test for this continuity at x equals negative two. Okay. So remember, when you're testing for this continuity, this one is easy because this one is only two terms. Remember, sorry, give the piecewise with three. And I think I may or may not have given you something or show you something where you can even go up to four, right? I don't think they may give you four in the exam. They may give you up to three. So it's either two or three that will give you. All right. But this one, they decide to give you two. What would we do? Somebody tell me. What do we do? Sir, you determine if X is turning to the right or to the left. Very good. So you're looking now for X tending to the left of negative two. Which of the two functions is associated with to the left? The first one. The first one, very good. So the first one is tending to the left. Why to the left, sir? Because it's less than. Remember, sir, I said to you, less begins with L. Left begins with L. So less than is to the left. Um, greater than is to the right. Greater ends with R. And right begins with R. All right? So greater than is to the right. Less than is to the left. All right? So... Wherever in the function we see x, we're going to put negative 2. So that's 4 times negative 2. That's negative 8. Negative 8 plus 6. I think that is equal to negative 2. So the, to the left, the limit to the left is negative 2. Let us check the limit to the right. And of course, the other function is to the right. Why, sir? Because it's greater than. So the limit to the right is going to be um, negative 2 squares is positive 4. 4 minus 7 is negative 3 is the limit continuous. No, it's not. It's not. They are not equal. So since the limit um, to the left is not equal to the limit to the right, the function is discon discontinuous at x equals negative two. Everybody get that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Is there is there anyone in the class? I forget that I have the the answers down here. Okay, I was wondering why they never do the other part. Um, and it was the other part. I was like, why didn't just do one piece alone? Right. So it is not continuous at x equals two. Not continuous at x equals two. Um, let me just ask again because I know may I teach way too long to know the truth. Um, there are times you're in a setting and you don't want to ask because you don't want anybody to know. Tell me, are you understanding? Are you understanding? 
Yes, sir. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Uh, I'm proud of you. Um, let's go, let's go, let's go. Wait, the mark on. All right. So the points of this continuity, if any, for the following functions. Okay. So the more give us some, I'll give them, I'll give us some marks, you know. They might ask you to find the points of discontinuity for of if any. Is there any points of discontinuity for f of x? Tell me. Oh, I have to go grab a pencil. All of them I'm being out of my head. This one I have to go grab a pencil. Fortunately, he's a real teacher. Always have them something on it. Here. Um oh, good. I have this not bad. Um determine the points of discontinuity for this one. Um, what do we do in order to find the points of this continuity for this one here? Uh, you, you factorize, sir. Factorize what? The denominator. The denominator, right. So yeah. remember, you know, remember, remember what you need to say to me is that you are going to let the denominator equal to zero. Whenever you get a rational function, whenever you get a rational function, the rational function will have a point of discontinuity. So you have to say, and what is a rational function? Which other function is a rational function again? The one where what? So the one where, the deno where you have a fraction. Yes, sir. The denominator right. is one. Right, the one that have a numerator and denominator and the denominator is going to be equal to zero. So put x squared minus 5x minus 14 equals to zero now, right? And factorize for me, please. So what are the what are the what are the what are the points of discontinuity for f of x for a x minus two mm -hmm. and, and x plus seven. All right, so x equals minus two. Say that for me. X equal minus two. And, and x, x equals and, seven. And x, Very good. And x equals seven. Very nice. Excellent. Very good. Um, for B, what is the point of discontinuity for B? Sir, this was a problem. Oh, this was a problem. Okay. What is the point of discontinuity for B? Anybody, somebody, anybody, nobody? Cape, what is the point of discontinuity for B? Cape, what is the point of this continuity for B? I'm going, I'm going to take on a, on a Saturday dinner and Sunday dinner, you know. All of them are going to take on a dinner. What is the point of this continuity for those? For that one, for B? I don't have any. Thank you very much, Shante. Say it one more time, please, Shante. It doesn't have any point of this continuity. Why? Tell me why, Shante, that it has no point of discontinuity. Because? It is a trinomial. Polyno polynomial, not trinomial, polynomial. It's not a trinomial because this one don't have um this one don't have three terms in it. It's four terms this one have. Everybody agrees that it's four terms? Oh yes, sir. Because there's an x term that is missing. Right? So you have zero zero x. So it's not a trinomial, but just say polynomial. So remember, you remember I said to you when I was doing this question number one, that um, it is going to be continuous at all points because it's a polynomial. So the polynomial is continuous at every single point. There is no point of discontinuity for a polynomial. So that one don't have no point of discontinuity. That one, they're good. That one, they never vexed with nobody before. The one that is Jesus. No fault. The other ones, no, it has a it has points of discontinuity. Okay, final one. I don't know why didn't you get so long now, but anyway, final one. Um, good thing to my, my computer. Final one. 
What is the point of discontinuity for this one? Positive nine. X equals nine. Positive nine. Yeah. Say it again. I hear you say yeah to something. X equals nine. No, just x equals nine. nine. So wouldn't the x plus nine cancel the other x plus nine in denominator? If you no, we're not, we're, not, we're not looking at that because you, you remember when you when you plot that graph, you know that graph is going to cut it somewhere two times, you know. So if you only give me x equals nine, you're going to be in problems. Okay, so say so it's x equals nine and x equals negative nine. nine. Very good. So x equals positive nine and negative nine. So x equals to the two of them. X equals to the two of them. All right. Um, are we okay? Yeah, yes, sir. You can't choose it as a mid semester. No, no, no. Walk off. <laughs> Me know why you want to treat it as a mid semester, no? Because you know, say you get full hundred. Very nice. I'm very happy. I mean, I'm very happy for you. I'm really, really, really very happy for you. So, um, oh, come on, no. I hate using this thing, you see? But, but sir, one question, though. Uh, yeah, man. When, when we were submitting last week, mm -hmm. I don't know how we could confirm. I was just saying, let me see, you know, if basically you're seeing the submissions. Because, um, yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. It, it looked away to me when we were submitting. All right, no problem. That, that, I, can, that, I, can, that I can talk to you about because... I'm thinking that I would have been able to be released already, but clearly not. Um, so, and I don't have the time to, to waste. Um, let's see now, do I have, how much battery life do I have? Father, favor. Oh, but I am, um, okay, I have more battery life on it. Um, all right, I'm am, I am going to see if I can confirm for you, Duane, the, um, confirm for you, Duane. The, oh, no, I need to go here. Conf confirm for you the, the uploads. To let you know which ones that I received. Um, so what I will do is business cal. I'm also going to be releasing the paper for you because this is always a very good um, point to you know for your practice. Okay. for your practice because um you know you have exams just like the others coming up soon and we did this many moons ago um let me just check something here one what is here Webster's here two three Five, six, seven. All right. So there are a few business calculus students that I'm missing. Dog yum bin supper. Because my exam is going to go now. Recording in progress. Excuse me, sir. Are you still here in class? 
Yes. Yes. Sir. Okay. Okay. Then good. Thanks. All right. Let me just check. Um. Let me just check. I just got a call a while ago to say that I need to do the pickup. So, um. Let me just check. I'm going to start up the exam so that we don't waste the time. So by the time I get home, you should be finished. What am I looking for? Edicosoft. I need to respond to doing E D U C O S O S T. You know I may have a problem. Lord, I wonder if I could transfer from that to the other group. Um, From one group to the next. All right, so what am I looking for? This is calculus. Is this calculus? And I'm looking for my top box. And I'm seeing only eight students submitting this stuff. So I will tell you the ones that I'm seeing. I'm seeing all world, I'm seeing Davy, I'm seeing Faulkner, I'm seeing Lewis, I'm seeing Mitchell, I'm seeing Reed, I'm seeing Riley, and I'm seeing Stoll. So those are the ones that I'm seeing. Eight of them. Tess, Damien, Andrahan, Diana, Laurel, Dwayne, Sashel, and Shaquille. So Shaquille is not in class tonight, today. I'm not seeing Sashel, and I'm not seeing Andrahan. I'm not seeing three students just now. Um, if you can message them for me, please let them know. Say it's time, or call them. Let me see if I can transfer this stuff. Or remember, um, for the test, your cameras need to be on here. Um, and especially if you're going to be doing an online exam, you have to get a practice from now. So those of you who um, the stalls, since you're not trouble, make me trouble you now. So if you know, so now sitting on the ear and tired, I'm gonna try run go fix up, fix up. See, my turn to take back trouble. We don't know, you know, one, two, three, four. So when is that, sir? <laughs> yeah, say it again. Um, um, when are we? <laughs> when, are, when are you what? <laughs> is that today, sir? What the the mix the mix semester? No, man, the fix up, fix up, and the set and tired, sir. Yeah, mommy, I tell you, say, like when you just come out of bed, I mean, when you have a set in your head. <laughs> it's, my, it's my turn to trouble you because it, the, the, the tone that troubled me a while ago. So, my turn to trouble you now. All right, yeah, man. So, the cameras will have to be on here. So, let me just see if I can transfer it from, from one group to the next. So, all right. Lord help me. How do I do this now? Think about it. Um, all right, so let me just, oh Lord. I don't know why nobody did something for you. Because I could just go and click release now. Instructor. Anyway, I thought I would have been back already, so that's the real reason. That's the real reason. Thought I'd have been back already. Just to let you know, um, that's one of the beauties about um, online for me. Let me just ask you while I while I try to find the stuff. Are you guys learning from me on a Saturday morning? Yes, sir. All right, and uh, I know I know the Cape students. Um, we've been through this many times over. But other question: Out of the online or the face-to-face, -face, which one I truly prefer? And don't feel that I've been I've, I've been penalized for anything. You know, I just want to let you honestly. Out of the face-to-face -face or the online, which one you really prefer? One, two, three. No feeling. 
Sir, um, online is convenient in terms of when it's such the point, you just go to class. Um, mm -hmm. In terms of this numerical subject, it would be nice to be in class. In class. Fair yes, enough. Sir. Fair enough. Um, for me, for me, the convenience, you know, sometimes you have, a, I know some time ago, I don't know if it was Andrahan or, or Duane, I think it was Duane, um, one Saturday morning got in pretty early for class and said, sir, I have something to do. And I said, go and go do this stuff. You know, I've heard my students say to me, sir, I'm just leave work. Students are at work up until five o'clock, so I'm just leave work. But the students are in my class at the start of class. At the start of class. And they may not be able to participate fully, but at least they are hearing what it is that I'm saying. And they're not missing out class. And for me, that is great because there are times I'm teaching. My, I teach in, in the last couple of years, I have really been mainly teaching evening school. And um, sometimes at six o'clock, I see students strolling into my class. So when I'm giving mid-semester exams, I have to do that in the last hour of the class because, um, and, and, and oftentimes I can't do it when I have a five to seven, I have to do it when I have a seven to nine class because students are strolling in at that time because sir, traffic, and you know, it, it's just rough. So it's, it's convenient. Yes, I know there is a place of face to face. And I cannot transfer this stuff. It's a, there's a place of face to face, and um, and there's nothing like the face to face methodology. But the truth of the matter is, based on where the world is going, um, based on where the world is going, there is going to be definitely a place for this um, online. All right, um, if I do it like that. All right, I'm having a challenge in that. I may have to resort to, let me see if I can. I may have to resort to sending it via, via WhatsApp, but it's still turning the camera on. So let me just check on something here. Oh my Lord. Anything that can go wrong will go wrong. So in the meantime, for me, you just get the paper, your stuff. Um, make sure that you're in that frame of mind for the for the test. I'm just trying to find. Oh no, what kind of wrong button? Find it, or I may have to make a telephone call. To... to get it to me. Okay, you are an awesome God. You are an awesome super Jesus. But we have to do something else. So, Okay. 
Oh yeah. All right, I need to amend something on the paper. Remember your average rate of change to here. F of B minus F of A over B minus A. Um, very close. To, I'm very close to being ready for you guys. Let me a few more. So, in this case, no, by the time I reach home, um, should be finished with the assessment. Oh, while, while I'm trying to do my, my final set of editing, um, just reminding you the importance of completing your editor soft, both groups, Keith and, um, and, and, and you, my business card students, um, CAP students, it's very important that you go through, especially that we are behind um, the, set, the unit on statistics, right? I want you to go through um, the unit on statistics so it is that we can get to where it is that we need to get to. Um, business card, remember 20% of your final grade goes towards your, comes from your editor thought, and the other 20% is when you come from this. All right, so it's very important. I've had students in the past getting 39 and 40. And 40 out of 40, because they would have completed their editor stuff and get a full 100 and did very well um, with the, on their mid semester. And of course, get an A for my course. And I course, some of you know, are already principal awardees or out yeah, you know, you need to maintain that that vein. So I need my and my and my medical stuff supposed to be completed before Labor Day because it's gonna it's gonna shut down um before the final exam. Oh Lord, how do I do this? What? Um, sir, as it relates to Edical staff, um, mm -hmm. one of the questions, the limits question, mm -hmm. as the as extends to infinity, sir. Mm -hmm. Realize in one of them is that for the new creator. They would set the numerator over the highest power, right? The numerator and the highest mm -hmm. power in the denominator. When I saw that, I was saying, is it that this is wrong, sir? Okay, I will, I will, I will, I will look at it and, and and get back to you. Okay, sir. But that's not that's not supposed to be. Okay. Is it just like how we did it? Is it just like how we did it a while ago? Yes, sir. That's how, it, that's how it's supposed to be done. Okay, sir. Come on. All right. So I'm going to ask that you, that you, Um, 
forgive me for not being able to get it on to the to get it forward. Nonetheless, I want you to do um I'm just gonna send it via WhatsApp. And it's a good thing too because the kids students will be able to participate. Um All right, let me just check this thing here first. Um, business calculus. Business calculus. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No. That are the wrong people. That are the wrong people. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, um, what do I see in here? All right, so it's now nine points past. Let me just do this here. Nine oh seven. Should have been saying the right people. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nine, two. So it is part of the PDF. So then So all right. So I don't have to tell you about honesty and working on your own and the whole work. Um, even though the calculus students are not going to get a grade necessarily to it, um, I don't have to tell you that because they say once I'm marking and I see any evidence of collaboration, you know, so you know, you can get zero. Oh, that's a part that I didn't tell you about me. All right, a life honesty. Um, and if you do anything untoward that is, will constitute a breach of the exam, trust me, you will fail that exam from me. All right. Um, your paper is released in WhatsApp. Turn your videos on now for me, please. And um, let's go. Cape students, I'm expecting you to be working also. Right, thank you. I'm going to be muting, so I'm giving you an hour to do the paper. An hour to do the paper. So at 10 minutes past 10, I'm going to stop you. I should be home by then. All right, so I'm going to stop you at that time. Start working for me, please. Turn your cameras on. I'm seeing Shaquille, not seeing anybody else. If your camera is not on, I'm going to assume that you are not there. Thank you. Scene two, scene three. Go ahead for me, please. The rest of you, the rest of you, the rest of you. Norman, Damien, Dwayne, thank you, Diana. Thank you. 
Dr. Wayne, Damien, the Dees, Colinette. Thank you, sweetheart. And begin for me, please. Norman, can you turn the camera on for me, please? So you see me now, sir? No, Damien. I was about to say that if your camera is on, I'm not marking your paper, you know, because this is what is going to happen for the final exam. So you have Hello, to get your practice from now. We're starting, sir? No, you can't start it because your camera is not on. If your camera is not on, I cannot mark your paper. It's going to be a requirement for the final exam. So we're to do the work calls and then I just read the answers. No, if, 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 no for, the, for the multiple choice? For the multiple choice, mom? Yes, sir, that's the only thing I'm seeing here, multiple choice. No, man, you're supposed to see the section B too. No, it's only the multiple choice I'm seeing. Anybody seen section B? Yes, sir. Section B is their um, test. Page four, you're not seeing it? My bad. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Thanks, Dwayne. Seeing you now. Very nice. Um, Damien. Hey, Damien. Oh. You're going to make me a follow to Damien. Oh, so, sir, sorry, sir. Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe I didn't catch that part. The part we 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 find it the exam, sir. No, it's in your WhatsApp group. Oh, the WhatsApp. Okay. Yeah, I I couldn't get the thing connected. Norman, please turn the camera on. Um. Oh, Damian, I'm seeing you. You're not there, Damian. Norman Webster. All right, I'm going to mute. You have an hour. Start for me, please. Um, if you have any difficulty, you can speak to me.
Are you all finished? No, sir. All right. I'm going to give you an extra 20 minutes. Please make good use of it. An extra 20 minutes, all right? Morning, sir. Sorry for interrupting. Um, is it the paper in the chat that is being done right now? Mr. Shand? Uh, yes, Andrew, Han. Okay, all right, thank you, um, Larley.
sir.
this is more than grace, you know. Much more than grace. Say that again. Are we finished? Oh, uh, do, do, take the photos and do it like last week, right? Do, do, take the photos and do it like last week, yeah. Just set the photos now for me, please. Are we all finished? No, sir. Any more grace to extend? All right. Um, ten more. Ten more minutes, please. Hurry up. Ten more minutes. Where will you send the photos to? Um, we're going to upload it to Erica, so I'm going to set up that thing now for Erica so you can upload it to Erica. Okay, sir. Cool.
All right, I'm going to answer to start putting our final thoughts together. Put your final thoughts together. Those of you who are finished, can you go ahead and upload to your Dropbox to me, please? The Dropbox is now available. And this includes the um, K students. I created a Dropbox for you because I'm in the market and give you feedback. And then we're going to be using the last hour to learn something new.
All right, guys. Um, this is it. It's a one-hour test, and I'm giving you. I'm giving you almost two hours. We started about ten past nine. It's now eleven o'clock. I'll give you ten minutes to put your papers together and upload. Um, not seeing. I'm not receiving any uploads yet. Let me just refresh. Yes, I've received three uploads. Mm. Laura Sasha Norman. Get in my instructions. So I just put it on the word. All right, cool times. Cape. I don't get anything from you if you're a cape. And I want to see what it is that you have done, please. Sir, where should we upload it, sir? To your Dropbox. Go to Course Tools, Assessment Dropbox, click on Dropbox, click on Take, and upload a single file. <clears throat> In editor side, sir? Yes, please.
As the, the, we need to hold up, guys. There is a one topic that I think we can confirm if you're receiving. There's a one topic that I need to, to teach in about 45 minutes. Um, that is going to be applicable to both groups, Keith and Ms. Cal. Um, and I need to do it. So we need to start now. Let me just check here. So in addition to the three, uh, we've gotten domain and calling it. The rest of you, I need to get your papers now. I'm going to close it out. And those papers that I have not received means that you will just You're get I'm taking the pictures. I'm going to send it, right? All right, then. Thank you, Papa. I'll give you three. Yes, calling it. I did say calling it. I refresh and tell me if you see Putting it on the Word document. OK, great. All right, so horror, please. Hurry up, hurry up.
Sure, I'm almost uploading. I'm just compiling it, making it. Wait, I think I was. All right, so can I go now? Yes, sir. I'm uploading right now, right? Okay, and that's the reason I asked the question because I recognize that not everybody has uploaded. But come, hurry for me, please. I need to do this one. I need to start and finish this topic today. Sorry, she might upload. Oh, sorry. Let me go back into another screen to check yours. Um, so confirm, confirm my answer, please. Confirm that you've received. All right. Okay. All right, hold on. So I have received Jodi and Natalie Shanti Chanel. I've received four. So you said they so you wanted me to upload it? Absolutely. Oh, okay. Sorry, you said you said Damien? No, I need to uh, no, I need to um Sorry, look if you're seeing Shepherds or one. Please be reminded of how to get this done because chances are you may have to end up doing this for your exam. I don't know. You don't know how to upload on this. Yes, yes, Matthew. Yes, sir. We have a challenge issue. I put it together, sir. The screenshots. No, not a problem, um, Andrew Hand. Um, as long as you put it into a Microsoft Word document. That I can see it? Right, that's what I did, sir. Put it on Microsoft as screenshots. Great. All right, so I have now for Miss Carl, Shaquille, Colin, Chanel, Sasha, sorry, Dwayne, Lauren, Tess, and Norman. So I have seven um, missing. Sir, Wait. I am uploading mine, but I'm having some challenges. Once you go through, I tell you. All right, cool. Um, sorry, you'll be continuing on stationary points. Or it's a new topic. Oh, so where was I? I was on stationary points for for um for single variable function. Yes, sir. Did I start? Did I start multi variable functions with you? No, sir. Sir, confirm no, please, Damien. Um. All right, you know, I'm, you know, I'm lost, you know. What was the last thing we did, um, Laura? Sorry, let me just look back, sir. 
you, you went through one example with us, sir, and we didn't do anything more from that. I went through one example with the station you're pointing to. Yes, sir. Okay, all right, cool. All right, thanks, thanks for that. Thing. Yes, Damien, I've seen your you know, ears now. All right, thanks for that info. All right, um, I thought I had actually completed. Oh, last week we did a mock mid semester. Okay, that explains it. Yeah. All right, thanks. So I'm going to put that aside then and I'll just go back to um, the, the stationary point. I'm putting that aside. Um, Um, uh, is there any any anything in particular that you're not seeing with that, um, Laura? Or I just need a few more examples too. Probably a few more examples. Sir. You understood what I what I did right there, though. Are you mean in the example that you gave, sir? <laughs> yes, one. Yes, sir. All right, cool. All right, um. All right, so I'm waiting on Andrew. Right, sir, where, what do I select in, uh, <clears throat> sorry, <clears throat> in EduCosaf again to get to the upload? Dropbox. Accessible Dropbox. Thank you. All right, so while Diane and, and Andrew, Andrahan um, sort of the, the business, uh, let me, let me, do, 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 do. Let me get to the let me get to the stationary point. Let me see if I can find the uh, another question that we can go through. I need some time. I still I'm very interested in doing that new thing today. Uh, but let me just go through another station point question. Yes, sir, the document that you, you sent to us, sir, you yeah. uh, it was example four. You said you were to do that. Okay. But 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 what would I do without having you in the class? Oh, you tell me. Sure. Thank you, honey. All right, so let me just go to, um, go to, that's what I should have done before, you know, because when I send you off the, um, this is when I send you off the posts, I normally just go back and look at the post to see exactly where I'm at, but this time around, I didn't remember, not mid semester, okay. And then post five. So post five, no. I want to go through that solution with you. Okay, yeah. So, oh, now post five, you, know, you remind me that I never sent you the the one of the posts on the differentiation, and then we sent that. Okay, it's a stationary point. All right. Good. Good. Example two. We did example two. Um, good. Example three is there, very good. And then I'll we'll give example four to do, all right, thank you. So let us go through example four. Let me see if I was a good teacher and did a solution for example four. Um, Sorry, you can confirm if you see the work uploaded. It says completed, just confirm. Uh, do. Um, All right, so yes, sir, Andrew Han, I am now waiting on Miss Dan Dan. Thank you, sir. Diana, 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 Miss Witch. All right, um, how far are you, Diana? What does it say now? Sir, this summer does a spin. It does a spin. Come out and go back, yeah. Come out and go back in. What bros are you using? Just repeat that. What bros are you using? Um, Chrome. Do you have Microsoft Edge? Um, I can't. I've been trying to reset my password, so that email not, that not letting me. 
Alright then, cool. In the meantime, use one eye to do that and give me the other eye. Yes, sir. Alright, bless. Alright, let's go. So, uh -huh. here's the question now. So, I gave you homework last, mm -mm, about two Saturdays ago, because last Saturday we just spent time doing the Mid, -sem mid semester and then I had challenge getting on to the system. Any, anybody completed your exam before? Could you repeat, sir? Did you complete exam before? The one that is I got stuck at, at four, sir. You got stuck at four. Or the point of inflection? No, sir. Determine if the critical points are minimum or maximum. Okay, no problem. All right. Um, when you differentiated the function, what you got? All right, sir. So I got x is equal to a half or x is equal to minus two. x equals to a half or x equals to minus two. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. But guess what? Somehow, a sensitive my spirit that are only yellow with the question. <laughs> to do for, oh, bless the Lord. You know why I said what I said a while ago? You know, because him to say that I am asking and nobody else is unmuting. So that was that was reverse psychology a while ago. All right. So two people have done the thing. And no more than two. Is that a true statement? No answer. All right. Let me try this way. Do we end? You did you did this question? <laughs> uh, uh, I, I take the list for this one. I, 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 I don't listen to me. We can't have my prize giving student who come to class and do them homework, you know. All right? Straight up. All right? So that's one strike. Um, Damien, you do the homework? All right? I said no. Dan, you do the homework? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. <laughs> okay. Um, Sasha, you do the homework? No, sir. Andrew, honey, you do the homework? Sir, to be honest, I don't think I was here in the class when you <laughs> were. That's all right. You don't have to be here in the class because I sent it in the WhatsApp group and I know you're there. I might have missed that one, sir. I apologize. All right, then, no problem. That's going to cost you 100 pounds. Um, do, 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 do. All right. Shaquille, you do the homework? That's a no. Um, don't let me start seeing about Jesus keeping me close to the cross. You, know? you need to do your homework. Time is against us. All right. Um, Biscal, come. Uh, and, and, and Kate, sorry. Let us look at this ugly function. We're going to go through the question together. So it definitely means that I won't be able to look at that stuff because I thought we, we had done it so I could just go through quickly, but never mind. Let's go. Um, so, 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 okay, let us look at this ugly function. I think this question, if I'm not mistaken, is a past paper from CCCJ. I can't attest whether or not, Kate, that, well, you, I've never given you a question like this, Kate. I don't know if CXC will give you a question like this, Kate, but it is always good to to see something looking like this. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on.
All right, sorry about that. Yeah, so they have an ugly looking function. It's not impossible, K, that um, CXC will send a question like this. And again, this card is not impossible that CCCJ will send another question like this. If not this very question, I don't know, I'm just saying, sometimes questions are repeated. But if I do the question with you in class, and this is repeated for the exam, that's not cheating, because I would have done it under the auspices of doing past papers. All right, let's go. So it says, given a function g of x to be equals to 2 thirds x cubed plus 3 halves x squared minus 2x minus 9, and it asks us to go ahead and find the critical points. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah. Yes, dear, I see it. Yes, okay. All right. All right, thank you. All right, so you can give me both eyes now. All right, so, um, <clears throat> so I have... I have to differentiate that function. Please go ahead and differentiate the function. I ain't, I ain't doing anything for you. Come. Go ahead and differentiate the function. Quickly for me, all of you. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Differentiate the function. All right, I need to do something. Let me know when the function is completed, the differentiation is completed. Well, I'm giving you two minutes to differentiate the function, so I will stop you. All right, are we finished now? Yes, sir. All right. Come on, Miss Cal. I hear Kate. And if you hear Miss Cal, are we finished, Miss Cal? Oh, I don't want to stretch you. <clears throat> Remember when we're differentiating? Why do I feel like you forget to differentiate? When you're differentiating, you take the power and multiply by the coefficient of the variable. 
It takes the power to multiply by the coefficient of the variable. When you have a constant, the differential of the constant is equal to zero. So the differential of this negative nine is going to be equal to zero. But everything else you can differentiate. Three times two thirds is going to be two. So you're going to have two x squares. Two times three halves is going to give you three x minus two. So you're going to have two x squares plus three x minus two. So that's your differential. All right? And remember the stationary point. The stationary point. Or d by by dx is going to be equal to zero. Uh, but sir, I'm not seeing a d by by dx. Okay, no problem. Your g of x is going to be equal to zero. Because your g dash of x is the same thing as d by by dx or your f of x. All right, so you put in your first differential equals to zero. Put in your first differential to be equal to zero. And that's what it is that we did. So we're gonna have two x squares plus three x minus two equals zero. Are you with me? Yes. All right. <coughs> You know, you know, when you talk to me, I get my energy from that, right? So I want to hear from you. No, sir, I got bumped off, sir. Oh, so I'm just saying to you, um, I'm looking at the differential. I'm looking at the differential. So I'm asking if you are in agreement with the differential right there. <clears throat> I'm using this three to multiply the two thirds. It gives me a two. Three times two is six, six divided by three is two. Two times three is six, six divided by two is three. So I'm gonna get two x squared plus three x minus two. The differential of a constant is equal to zero. Agreed? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So when you're doing stationary points, you're gonna put d by dx equals to zero. What I have to do with you also, students, is stationary points of the multivariable function stationary points of a multivariable function, all right? All being well, God sparing lives. Let me ask you a question, students. Um, do you all have a class on a Friday? Sir, that's my longest class. Yes, sir, it ends at 10 o'clock, sir. Okay, just like me, all right, no problem. And um, next Saturday, um, I'm, gonna do, I'm gonna do with you the multivariable functions. Um, start and finish multivariable functions with you. Um, I did that with Cape some time ago. Um, so Cape, you are getting invited to next week just to do a little catch up on that. So you have stationary point for single variable function. So this is my single variable function. So why do you call it single variable function? Because it has only X in it. The multivariable function, I'm gonna give you both X and Y, all right? And then also, Sorry, um, you can just repeat that for emphasis, please. All right, so I'm saying a single variable function is a function con consisting only of my x's, like this one. So we are looking at the stationary points of a single variable function. So if you look up top here, you see it says SP, um, stationary point, single variable. All right, now I can also give you SP, stationary points from multivariable. So the multivariable function, we will have to do, show you how to differentiate the multivariable function. But I will do that next class. Um, next class, we're gonna, I'm going to ask to come in early because next class, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if I can run it. It's a pity I can't even start class earlier, but anyhow, it's crunch time and I will... And it went well. So I just need to squeeze in some stuff to make sure that I finish off the syllabus. But anyway, let's go. So when, whenever you're calculating the, the stationary point of a single variable function or even a multivariable function, the aim is once you differentiate the function, you are going to set it equal to zero every single time, both a single and multi, multivariable. 
functions. All right? So this one here, now I find my, dif my differential g dash of x to be 2x squared plus 3x minus 2, and I'm setting it equals to 0. Why, sir? I'll so it go. When I'm calculating the stationary point, I have to set it equals to 0. Now we're going to factorize the function. Now remember, we're going to multiply the coefficient of x squared by the constant. The coefficient of x squared is a number in front of x squared, and in this case, it's going to be 2. It's going to be 2. So 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. See it right here, so negative 4. I need two numbers, so that when multiplied together gives negative 4, but when added, we'll give it the middle number here, positive 3. And the factors are going to be positive 4 and negative 1. When I multiply positive 4 to negative 1, I'm going to get negative 4, which is what I want, right here, so. But when I add negative 1 to positive 4, I'm going to get positive 3, which is what I want, right here, so. See it here, so? That. So my factors are going to be positive 4, negative 1. So what I'm doing here is replacing, I'm replacing my 3x to now 4x minus 1x. So it's 4x minus 1x. So now, when I do that, I'm going to group in. Now when I group, I'm going to have 2x squared plus 4x, put the first set in one bracket, leave the middle sign out every time, every single time the middle sign is left out. Every single time the middle sign is left out. When it's a positive sign, you don't have to worry. The songwriter did say, me now worry, me now fret. When it's a positive sign, that is the case. But when it's a negative sign, what do you need to start fretting? Why, sir? Because the sign here will have to be flipped from whatever sign to the opposite sign. You know that this sign is a negative sign? It now must be flipped to a positive sign. Why, sir? So that when I multiply this negative number by this positive number, I get back this negative number. So in every in every positive number, there are two negative numbers. And in every negative number, there's only one positive number. In every negative number, there's a positive and negative number, but in every positive number, there are two negative numbers. All right? And then I'm saying to myself, what is common here that is common there? It's going to be two or two X. What is left is going to be X. And what next is left is going to be positive 2. What is common here that is common there is going to be negative 1. What is left is x plus 2. Notice, the same thing in parentheses on this side of my operation is the same thing that is here on this other side. Why, sir, if it is not the same, I can't factor it out. You see, I factor it out, you can say x plus 2. This common, so I factor it out. I'm going to take out x plus 2 from this side. I'm going to put 2x here. I mean, I take it from this side, I'm going negative 1. If they're not the same, I can't factor out. So it's important that I'm able to factor out. All right? And then, I'm going to set it equals to 0, of course, because it's an equation. And as my dear friend says, sir, the critical values are um, negative 2 and a half. And those are the... I'm going to ask you to do something for me. Um, I'm going to ask you to substitute both answers into the original function, into the original function, into the original function. There's a reason I'm asking. And I'm going to tell you, for some reason, For some reason, students
have a challenge. For some reason, students have a challenge substituting into fractional functions. I don't know, this may be very common your exam. I'm gonna give you five minutes, please. Please, come hold up. No, I'm gonna give you three minutes, a quick three minutes to make that substitution, please. Quick and fast, all of you. Both x equals negative two and x equals a half. Quick and fast.
Finish? Yes, sir. Do you agree with negative four one thirds? And negative nine thirteen over twenty four? Yes, sir. All right. Let me just let me just let me caution you on something here. As I've heard it in the past, some students said to me, "Sir, when I get balance your critical points, you know, negative nine and thirteen over twenty-four, so I think something wrong." Just be diligent with what it is that you are doing, and the correct answer will come out. All right, I promise you. Is there anyone in the class that didn't get the four thir negative four and one over three? And the negative nine and thirteen over twenty-four. Okay, we all have it. So I, I wonder where um oh negative thirteen over three. Yeah. And and negative two twenty-nine over. Yeah, man. Oh, oh, yeah. You wrote it as a mix, as a as an um improper fraction. Yes, sir. Full marks. Full, full, full marks. Oh my God, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, full marks. So you can leave it as a mixed number. You can leave it as an improper fraction. Don't leave it as a decimal, though. We don't deal with decimals on here. Decimals throw out some of our answers. All right, let's go. So the coin to the y intercept. So the matter of fact, I just say y intercept, it means that the other variable is equal to zero. The coordinate of the y intercept means that x is equal to zero. Remember that. The coordinate of the y intercept, put x equal to zero. The opposite one is what you're putting to be equal to zero. So in the original function, see here, in the original function g of x, In the original function g of x, anywhere you see x, you put in zero. So my zero cubes, my zero square, my two times zero, and I'm left with negative nine. So g g of zero will be equal to negative nine. Now, because I know x is equal to zero, that's why I have zero up top here. For the y-intercept. You're going to put x equals zero. For the y-intercept, you're going to put x equals zero. So my coordinate is going to become zero, comma negative nine. Zero, comma negative nine. With me? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Very nice. All right, so determine if the critical point is a minimum or maximum. All right, so this is where you're having a difficulty. Uh, so let me just do the easier of the two methods. Find the second derivative. Now remember, if the first derivative, g dash of x, is equal to 2x squared plus 3x minus 2, we need to differentiate the function one more time. We need to differentiate the function one more time in order to find the second derivative. Let me differentiate this function once more. We're going to get 2 times 2 is 4. So this is 4x plus 3. Remember, the differential of a constant is equal to 0. Now watch me. When I have my second derivative, all I'm going to be doing is substitute my critical point inside of it. If the critical point comes out to be a positive, minimum. Negative, maximum. Done. I find the second derivative, substitute my critical point in it, if I have more than one critical point, I'm going to do it more than one times. I'm going to do this process as many times as the number of critical points I have. If the result comes out, I'm not even interested in what the result is. You know, we just want to know if it is positive or negative. If it is positive, minimum. Negative, maximum. So let's go. So I have 4x plus 3. My critical point would be, see if I have it, negative 2, comma, neg um, negative 13 over 3. I don't have any y in it, so I'm not interested in the y values, just the x values. What is wrong? So 4 times negative 2 is negative 8, and negative 8 plus 3 is a negative number. 
See here? You notice I didn't just put negative five, I just put less than zero. Because it's negative. Then I have a maximum. I know I have a maximum right there. I'm going to do the same thing for the other critical point. A half comma negative 229 over 24. Two times a half is going to be two. Mm -hmm. Four times a half is going to be two. And two plus three is five. It's greater than zero minimum. So at this point here, it's going to be a maximum. Means that it turns downwards. And this point, it means that it's going to be a minimum. It turns upwards. The point of inflection, I'm going to use the same second derivative, but set it equals to zero. Remember, I gave it a summary, you know, you have the summary already. Post number four, I believe, has a summary. Um, that is for business calculus. Um, Cape, you already have this long time. So for the point of inflection, I'm going to find a second derivative. When I find the second derivative, I'm going to set it equals to zero. Find the second derivative, set it equals to zero. Solve for the value of x, substitute it into the original function, and that's my point of inflection. So when I set this equals to zero, I'm going to have negative three fourths. See here, so. And in the original function, see the original function here. Anywhere in the function I see x, I'm going to put negative three over four. And I did that, and I came up with negative six and 15 over 16. If you want to put it as um, an improper fraction, not a problem with me. Not a problem with me. Okay, so far? So far, so good? Yes, sir. And then the last, the last step of the game is us to sketch a curve. The last digga digga piece is to sketch a curve. So this point here is going to be your minimum your maximum your minimum point. Your maximum point, I'm very sorry, because it shapes like an N negative, and this here will be your minimum point. They are going to ask you to sketch a curve. So we just need to review the sketching of the curve. We need to review the sketching of the curve. All right, here what? Um I'm going to send you this question. Should I send a solution or just send the question? Send the solution, I think, sir. All right. So, so, Kate, I'm also going to send this question, Kate, so that you can get some practice from it. Kate, what I will do for you is send you one or two questions on the stationary point for the multivariable function, Kate, so that you can have that to look at as well. Um, but remember, Kate, we still have unfinished business. I'm going to get the draft of the SBA um, this weekend. So I can start marking. All right, we did a lot today. We did a lot today. We did revision and solutions to our mid-semester in class. We break, we did our mid-semester exam. We came back and we looked at a question on stationary point. It's, it's a lot. I know you're supposed to be tired, but I thank you as per usual for coming out. And um, we have three more weeks left for the peer of your Cape and CCCG. We have three more weeks left to the close of the semester. Um, not worried about the Cape ones because I meet them two times in the week and they come to us on a, on a Saturday morning. But Miss Cal, we need to have conversations now about maybe dropping in a, a little a little class, you know, here and again. Um, anybody can do a, like an early, early, early morning class? Like an early bird class? Yes, sir. What time is early, sir? What time is early? Early could be like... um. What time, is, what time is work for you? On the, on the weekend, sir? Or on a regular day? No, work, work day. Because the weekend is going to be difficult. Work day. Uh, work starts at 8, sir. Oh, so you have to leave by 7 o'clock? By 6.30, sir. Rockstone, you just you just crop my style a while ago because I was gonna say we could try an early bird class one of these mornings. You know, we just get up early, early, and we could do like a five o'clock class. To I was thinking five to seven, but um, mm, think about it. You no, know? one of these mornings we just make sure you go bed early, and um, while we're in class, we can go and start getting ready because we, we need to learn to multitask. 
Um, and we just get some stuff done up. Wait a thing. Or two. Right, think about it. Let me talk about it. Okay. Think about it. We'll talk about it in the group. Think about it. All right. Big up on yourself. Bless up. And thanks again, guys. All right. Sure. Thank Take you. care. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sir. Sir.